What is up everyone today on Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures? This is me getting the van ready to sell. Getting her all cleaned up. I still gotta clean up the outside, but definitely getting her cleaned up. Feels a little weird, but not too weird. I'm actually hoping we get a decent return. As you know, we bought it for $13,000, put a $4,300 training in it, spent I think $1,200 on something else uh the wheel bearings and then another like thousand or nine hundred or something like i was saying i want to make some money back that's why like i kept saying so many videos this is hustle adventure it's about hustling like and if the hustle ain't worth it like that's the thing though i was making enough money easily like still making like 900 a week and just but the way it was going i'm like dude I used to make a lot more money. That's why I went back to the place, which is, it's a, uh, you know, I truck drive with their uh, straight truck here and there, but not too much, which that's cool too, you know. And I love building, I love creating, so perfect. I'm super excited, but that's why I never named my channel the Cargo Guy or the Van Man or fucking the Cargo Cargo or, you know, that's why I didn't. It was. It was specifically for a reason. Because, and that's why I always talk about, and I've been saying it for the whole year I was vlogging this. Expand your mind, be open-minded. And that's the thing, and don't let pride, ego get in the way. You know, that's why I say those things, because I mean it. And that's why, too, I make videos about budgeting, financing, being smart with your money. It's because that's what I'm about. And if it gets to the, and I love the freedom, but... That's why when I went, when I talked to the place I used to be at, they instantly, I was like, well, I'd only come back if uh, I get out. And they've been asking me for like a year to come back on and off. And I said, as long as I get, you know, exactly the hours and exact pay. And I couldn't believe, they were like, yes. I was like, holy shit. So when I got in too, they were like, what hours do you want? This and that you whatever you want like and they they honored it because they know me i'm a psycho worker my brother works there too um my other brother used to work there but anyways um very excited too um and i actually already had someone approach me that has their own business too um who i inspired to start their business and uh he wants me to make some commercial type things for him and that's what i mean see entrepreneurial life it's not like and that's why i tell people it's not like you're giving up your business it's like you're fucking you know like it's different if you run it into the ground which is fine too it is what it is but i just was like trying to pull out that's what she said people that i've told go get your cdl or you know go to your job um and they do or whatever but then i have other people who have helped who just try to stay strong and then they'll be like i've led my whole account and you know my wife is mad and you know this that and the third and i'm like well that's why i preach you know that's why this is hustle adventures this isn't just like you know get a cargo van and make money like that that's what i felt like it was turning into and it's not at all what my intentions were my intentions were to inspire people to you know i came from you know i've been sober eight years i came from nothing i lived in a car at one point you know what I'm saying? I too, like, if it would have stayed the way it was the first, I'd say, six months I had the business, I wouldn't have stopped. I was out three days, four max, would make 1200 net profit when the gas was good and before the economy went crappy. Um, but here's the thing, too. I love helping people with their businesses. There's a lot of factors in this industry to where, where you live, where you're from, what you're willing to do. But also, I wanted my channel to be more. That's why I was getting frustrated about i want to hear people say you know i just told my boss what's up because i'm big on like you know being free and that's what i mean too i don't mean just having a business like you can be free just i'm saying be free of the strains of being told what you got to do you still got to be a good worker but i want to hear people say hey i just went to cedo and i have had people that i've told go to cedo school privately you know private through privately through facebook stuff like that and then they'll tell me their journey and that's what i want to hear. i love that it's like yeah there we go be open-minded this isn't just cargo vans like i keep saying like i've been saying that too you know i want people to just you know be inspired to you know keep going keep striving 
Like fuck it. If it do, if it ain't if it ain't working, it's not the end. It's a new beginning. I got her looking so nice. So nice. But here's the thing. Hit up Carvana. And I watched some YouTube videos, people saying they got some good money from that, from Carvana, but they offered me three grand, dude. That's what I mean. Like even down to selling my van is getting weird. Like, come on now. It's a beautiful van, so. I guess we're gonna have to see what happens. I ain't accepting that. I'm gonna put it on marketplace and stuff. I mean, you can make good money out of these. So that's why I was like, what? But whatever, it is what it is. I mean, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> that's exactly why though, I'm, I went back to what I was doing, but everyone like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, that's cool with me. I'm just glad you're rocking with us. Uh, go link in the description for that gas app and everyone have a blessed day. And oh yeah, keep hustling. I get blue color paychecks, ayy